Welcome back. And now to the local stock market. Trading activities on the floor of the Nigerian exchange closed yesterday with a gain of 63 billion in market capitalization as the bulls regained their grip on the local bourse. The all share index increased by 0.24% to close at 48,270.23 points. In the same vein, market capitalization appreciated by 63 billion to 26.292 trillion versus last Friday's 26.229 trillion. Market breadth closed positive as Guinness led 19 gainers, while 16 losers stopped with Garegu at the end of yesterday's session. It was observed that the industrial goods sector appreciated by 1.66%, the insurance index improved by 1.05%, the consumer goods space grew by 0.63%, and the energy sector rose by 0.59%. At the close of business yesterday, the trading volume skyrocketed by 303.56%, to 645.0 million stocks from 159.8 million last week. The number of deals increased by 13.18% to 3,486 deals from 3,080 deals, while the trading value decreased by 16.96% to 4.2 billion from 5.1 billion. Well, to help us look at this numbers and more, we're joined by uh, Adam, Ademola Adabale, Ed Research Atlas Portfolio. Good morning, Ademola. It's nice of you to join us this morning. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's always a pleasure. Uh, let's uh, look at the market yesterday. There was a rally at the market yesterday. Take us through what happened at the market yesterday. Okay. Yesterday, uh, we saw that the market kicked off from where it started on Friday. Yes. Uh, the market was positive yesterday due to uh, investors increased buying interest across major market sectors. However, the banking sector was down by uh, about 0.2%. Yes. So across all other major sectors, we saw positive sentiment we saw buying interest by investors, especially in the industrial sector, which was the highest retailer yesterday. The industrial sector was up by 1.6%. Or approximately 1.7 percent due to this high interest in class tonight, especially. So, uh, and we saw the market activities were mixed yesterday because the total volume trader was up by over 300 percent, by the uh, value trader was down by yes. 4 percent. So, the top general for yesterday was Guinness, which is the consumer goods sector. And you know, for a while now, we've been seeing the consumer goods sector. Appreciate for uh, uh, within the last two weeks, it has, has been going up. It's been buying interest in Guinness, um, and Jam Bui, and uh, some other and uh, some other shares in the market. Yes, so Guinness was yes. if, if, if I may come in there, you, you mentioned that the, this uh, this industrial goods sector has been going up. Is there a specific reason why this is happening? I know, you know, you, uh, you can see that. It's just the broad cement that is moving the market right now. Because as of today, the market is still for right now. Due to, if we check the statistics now, broad cement is, is gaining right now. So, and you know, broad cement is a bear weather stock. So when you have movement in such stocks, it, it moves the market. You know, so you can see invest, in investor sentiment shifts towards the industrial sector. That's why we are seeing application. Uh, in the, in the market right now. Okay. Let, let's look at the consumer goods space. Uh, it had a 0.63% uh, uh, growth yesterday. Uh, can this be, uh, can this, can we tie the reality to what is, uh, what is expected, as, especially as we will be moving close to the, to the yield high period? No. Uh, you know, we should have seen more of the consumer goods using right now. Okay. Because the consumer goods sector is still for right now, you know, people, People will tend to, people will tend to withdraw some of their money in order to purchase stocks for the festive season, and you know. But nevertheless, investors' appetite in, in the consumer goods has kept on increasing because if you look at it from another angle, you see that investors want to buy into all these goods that are important that people want to buy. And you know, when you buy into all this, you're going to increase the company's revenue. They are going to generate more income. And maybe they'll be able to pay more dividends the following year. You know, and you know, as we approach January, February, some of these companies will start selling dividends. 
So investors want to buy into this consumer good because people will want to buy more of this product this season. So that means their revenue will increase. That means more dividends for investors. That is why you are seeing gains with some of these stocks with good fundamentals right now. Okay. Um We've, we saw a, a, a high trading volume uh, while we saw an, a negative trading value. Um, what happened? Why, why is this? Okay, the volume, uh, the volume was up. Yes. Yes, but on Friday it was the opposite. It was the opposite on Friday. The volume was down on Friday while uh, the value was up. On Friday, but yesterday it was it was a reverse. We have traded a uh, volume trader in the market to perform yesterday. Why the volume trader? It, uh, it depends on the stocks itself that are traded. You know, if you have the big stocks like MCN being uh, being being traded in large volume, it's going to affect the value of the market, okay. right? But if you have a little quantity of these big stocks being being bought in lesser volume, then the value traders will be reduced. Okay. But we saw lesser volume of bar cement being bought yesterday. That was why the volume traded was up yesterday. All right. Um, now that was yesterday. Let, let's now look into the markets today. Today is a Tuesday. Um, what should we be looking at? What are the expectations that the market holds for for, for investors today? Yeah, we, we, like, like I said earlier, like, like, investors' sentiment is still turned towards the equity market right now. You know, people are really looking for where to put their money right now. So we can see positive sentiment uh, keeps, keeps going up in the equity market. So today we should expect more positive sentiment from investors in the equity market. Because even when you look at the fixed income market, the rates are not so encouraging. You know, looking at inflation, looking at the uh, MPR. So investors are looking for a short-term investment where you can make some profit. So and they are looking to the equity market right now. So we expect to see today. When you look at the market, what the market is seeing today, I think the market is not again. So we, we expect to see more positive sentiment in the equity market today, even for the future, just like last week. Okay, um, you, you, you mentioned something about the fixed income market. Uh, as we know, we saw a rate hike in, in November. Um, but r regardless of this, uh, people found solace in the Nigerian stock market, uh, despite a, uh, a higher rate uh, for, for, for them in the, stock in, the, in, the, in the fixed income market. Why is this? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Did you hear the question I asked? I said, uh, no, no, I didn't I said okay, let me, let, let me, re let me rephrase. Um, we saw uh, a rate hike in November, and when such happens, uh, people expected that, oh, you'd see people move to the fixed income market. But we saw investors' sentiments remain in the Nigerian stock market. Uh, why was this? Did you uh, hear me? You know, very hard rate. I, I got the question, yes. yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Please go on. Okay. Please go on. So the risk I from the CBN was was in order to contain high flying inflation risk, you know, just to encourage people to save more. But you know there are different factors that Hello Mr. Demola. Uh, we've lost him. Um he was explaining to us uh why people retain uh, their their confidence in the in the Nigerian uh, stock market. Hello, Mr. Ademola, are you with us? Yes, please continue. Hello. Yes, please continue. Please continue. That is why we are having a big income. People are longer. Hello, Mr. Ademola. Hello, Mr. Ademola. We've, uh, we've, we've lost you. Uh, but uh, if you can hear us, we would like for you to uh, just uh, get them. Uh, to, let's get your final thoughts. Can you, are you with us? I am, yes. I yes, yes, yes. You with you. Yeah, with you. So we'll let you land on that and just call it a day or with you. So please, let's hear you. Okay. Yes. So I said 
looking at why the reason why CBN increased the the APR rate was just to contain the high-flying inflation rate, right? Yes. And we know that in Nigeria, there are different factors that contributed to the high-flying inflation rate, which if these factors are not addressed, we continue to see inflation go high. And that is why investors are beginning to count their costs and look at where they can put their money in order to beat the inflation rate, right? So looking at the rate in, in fixed income markets, and you're looking at the uh, duration of period whereby they need to have access to their money. Most investors are not encouraged. So they rather put their money where they can have easy access to it and where they can they can stay for a short term and see their their money grow. You know, because the, the economic situation in the country is not even encouraging for foreign investors to come and invest. Yes. So that is, that, that is why our fixed income market is not doing well right now. It's not doing well. And uh, if our policies are not well directed to, to, to check out what is meant to be, to, be, to be addressed, we continue to see that uh, our markets are not doing well, especially the fixed income market. You know? So it is left for our policymakers to address what is meant to be addressed in the country, not to just increase the inflation rate because other countries are increasing theirs. It's not working for all right in Nigeria. It's not working for them in the day. You see that uh, as they kept on increasing the LPR, the inflation was dropping. Okay. But that's not the case for Nigeria. I inflation rate keeps on increasing month after month, month after month. All right. So for investors, I have to think twice before I put my money in six markets in this country where I know that I can have access to so another market that will give me my interest rate within limited time. All right. Um, Mr. Ademola, I think this is a very good place to, uh, to alter the conversation. We thank you very much for, uh, for coming today on the show. Yeah. Thank you. All right, uh, we we'll move on now to the next uh, segment. The Central Bank of Nigeria recently announced the introduction of a national domestic card scheme, uh, which is aimed at reducing operating cost of cards in the country. And we shall be looking at what this means for the financial payment system uh, when we come back from this break. <laughs> 